Hello, my name is Harla Lawson. I work at the Osterinder branch of the Delaware County District Library. I am so happy to be here with you uh, today to have a story time with you. Uh, my story time is going to be about birds, all kinds of birds. Springtime is a time of birds everywhere. So we're going to read some good, great books and uh, sing some songs and have some good times as we learn about birds today. We're going to start with my welcome song. It's real simple. I will sing it for first and I'll go through it and then you will follow in and, and, and you can join me and follow along as we sing it together. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toe. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Great. All right, let's try that one together now. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toe. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Good job. Excellent. All right. Well, I like fun books, funny books, especially. And it, they are, as some of you know, in my story times, I like to read a funny book. And I found one about birds. Now, you know, chickens are birds. Um, and this book is about a cow, but it has a chicken in it. It's ca called The Cow That Laid an Egg. And it is written by Andy Cutbill. He is the author of the book. And it is illustrated by Russell Ato the person who drew all the pictures. And we are uh, we have permission to read this and thankful to uh, HarperCollins Publishers for allowing us to read this book. The Cow That Laid an Egg by Andy Cutbill. Marjorie the Cow Felt Down in the Dumps. What's wrong, Marge? Clucked the chickens. I don't feel special, said Marjorie. I can't ride bicycles and do handstands like the other cows. I just feel so ordinary. That night, the chickens hatched a cunning plan. They clucked and clucked and clucked all through the night. Cluck, 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 they whispered. The following morning, there was an almighty commotion in the barnyard. I've laid an egg, shrieked Marjorie. She was very excited. All the other cows were astonished. None of them had ever seen, uh, had ever laid an egg before. There it was. Even the farmer came running. Oh my goodness, he cried. Marjorie's laid an egg. The farmer's wife called the local newspaper. They're very excited. People came from far and wide. We're extremely proud of Marjorie, announced the farmer to the crowd. It'd be great to have an unusual cow like that. Marjorie felt much more special now, and the chickens were as pleased as Punch, too. They had something to do with it, didn't they? But the other cows weren't so happy. Our bicycle riding and handstands feel rather ordinary now. Something funny is going on. Cows don't lay eggs. Chickens lay eggs. We don't think you laid that egg, the cows said to Marjorie. We think the crafty chickens did it. Marjorie felt shocked. Prove it, said the chickens. <clears throat> so they all waited for the egg to hatch. Day after day they watched, and as Marjorie sat on the egg to keep it warm, but nothing happened. Until suddenly, one morning they heard a noise. Here it comes, shouted one of the cows. And as Marjorie stood up, tap, 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 
The egg cracked open and out hopped a small brown feathery bundle. Does that look like a cow? There, said one of the cows nodding, a chicken. Suddenly the tiny creature looked up at Marjorie, who was standing right there, and said, Moo! It said loudly. Marjorie smiled and held her baby tight. A cow, she said, and she promptly named it Daisy. And that was, that is the book, The Cow That Laid an Egg by Andy Cutbill. Very funny. Now, was it a cow or was it a chicken? It sounded like a chicken. I mean, it sounded like a cow, but it looked like a chicken. So I don't know. We'll have to decide by about that one. The cow that laid the egg. Very good. All right. Good job. Well, I almost knocked down my Phil animal board as I was reading that story. This is a little bit of a story, a little bit of a rhyme, I should say, about five little birds. And we can count them. One, two, three, four, five. Show me five. Good job. Five little birds sitting in a tree. One flew away It said and said, it's too cold for me. The second said, I'm flying south too. And the third one said, brr, and away he flew. The fourth one said, I'm staying here. The fifth one said, there are birds feeders near. So the two little birds enjoyed their dinner and stayed at home throughout the winter. Now, maybe you had bird feeders up too um, during the winter time. I know I did. I like feeding the birds in the winter time. It's a lot of fun. All right. We are going to talk about or read another story. This particular story is uh, called A Spy in the Sky. And both the books that I, I read I want to mention too is uh, the vocabulary in the books. Uh, these books are very, very good. It's great to expose your children to lots of vocabulary through reading aloud to them. And these are two good examples of books with really good, uh, different kinds of varying uh, vocabulary. Great early literacy. I Spy in the Sky is written by Edward Gibbs. He is the author of the books, and this book is brought to us by Templar Books, um, which is Candlewick Press, and we thank them for allowing us to read this story to you today. I spy with my little eye something with purple feathers and small wings. I like to drink nectar from flowers, this bird says. What do you think? Can you guess? Let's see. I'm a hummingbird. I bet you knew that one. I spy with my little eye something with black feathers and big wings. My head can change color, says this bird. This one you'll never guess, I think, unless you've read this book. We don't have these birds around here. It's a condor. I'm a condor. They're from California. Different area. I spy with my little eye something with blue feathers and a short bill. Polly wants a cracker, it says. What kind of bird would say that? I bet you know. I'm a parrot, right? A parrot. I spy with my little eye something with white feathers and a long bill. He says, I like to fish for my food. Hmm. They eat fish, let's see. I'm a pelican. Did you guess that one? That one was a little hard too. There's a lot of birds that eat fish. I spy with my little eye something with brown feathers that flies very high. I have sharp talons. Do you know what talons are? Claws. Talons is another word for claws. This one is an eagle. Right. Some of you may have said hawk. Hawks have talons as well. I spy with my little eye something with multicolored feathers, a great vocabulary word, that flies low to the ground. My tail is called a train. Hmm, let's see. 
You may have seen one of these. I'm a peacock. Right. Sometimes we see these in the zoo. They make very loud squawking noises. A peacock. I spy with my little eye something with gray feathers that sleeps when it's light and flies when it's dark. I bet you know this one. It goes, hoo, hoo. You know, I'm an owl, right? And we have owls around here. I'm an owl and I spy you. What can you spy with your little eye? And I can spy you. Can you see my eye? Great. This is a book, I Spy in the Sky. And there's a whole series of these books by Edward Gibbs. Great vocabulary, wonderful illustrations. Just a wonderful book to share with your children. Good job. All right. So those were two really fun books to read with you. I have a rhyme that I often do with my story time. We hold up two fingers. And it goes like this, and I'll go through it once, and then we'll go through it again together. Two little red birds sitting on a hill, one named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Let's try that again. Two little red birds sitting on a hill, one named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. All right, good job. You can practice that all day long. It's a fun one. We're going to end by doing, uh, I'm going to, I have some puppets here that I'm going to show you. And we're going to sing a little song that goes with each puppet. So let's see how we do. Once I sing it through once, you'll kind of get the hang of it, I think. Robins are flying, robins are flying in the sky, in the sky, high above the green trees, high above you and me. See them fly, see them fly. Good. Robins, we see those all over the place, don't we? Yes. All right, let's try this one. We also see these around here as well, so let's try. Cardinals are flying, cardinals are flying in the sky, in the sky. High above the green trees, high above you and me. See them fly, see them fly. I bet you've seen cardinals. This one we'll see soon. Maybe by the time this airs, you will have seen these too. Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are flying, hummingbirds are flying in the sky, in the sky, high above the green trees, high above you and me. See them fly, see them fly. Good job, hummingbirds. Now we see these too. Blackbirds are flying, blackbirds are flying in the sky, in the sky, high above the green trees, high above you and me. See them fly, see them fly. Good job. Now this one you'll know too. Again, an Ohio bird, an owl. Owls are flying, owls are flying in the sky, in the sky, high above the green trees, high above you and me. See them fly, see them fly. Now, owls do fly, but would we see them very often? Only at night, right, because owls come out at night. They are nocturnal. That means they come out at night, and that's when they feed and do all their stuff. Uh, so we don't see them too often in the daytime, but keep an eye peeled, you might. All of these birds that we just sang a song about are Ohio birds, and you will see them all all over the place. So I enjoy, I encourage you guys to look out the window as you go through your day and see if you can spy some of these birds flying around your sky. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining me for my bird story time. I learned a lot about bir birds and I enjoyed the books that I read to you and I hope you did too. Stay safe, stay well, we'll sing our goodbye song and then I'll see you soon. Now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye, now it's time to say goodbye, I'll see you all real soon. Thanks, storytellers, thanks for joining me today, we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.